So today's the day that we're going to start erecting the octagon for Vicky's afternoon teas, massages, etc. here at Tractors and Cream. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting those eight posts up on their stands over there. And so I've got my nephew Tom, he's come down from Surrey to give us a hand. We're hoping it all goes well. We'll keep you updated as we go through the day. First, we made an octagon to create the skylight and glued and screwed it together. There, so what we've done, as you can see, is we've drilled four holes in the bottom. We're now fixing the bottom plate. And end product, as you can see, post is standing upright. We've only got to do that seven more times. Well, here we have it. All of the eight posts are now in upright. Tom's just putting the last one in there. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to brace it all along the top of each of them to give it stability and rigidity and then after that we will then crack on and put the, the roof on. So here we are. So we started cutting all the um, roof trusses that are going to hold the crown up over there and then lift up. That there is going to be, like I said before, one real big skylight led in lots and lots of light and we're starting to get the tops on and things are starting to come together. Happy days! With a lot of help from Tom's muscles, we lifted the skylight up and got four of the struts onto the posts. Got back from work, and it's all go here. I'm quite impressed by the progress, actually. Where we're struggling, you see, is that um, there's a lot of angles, so octagons need 22 and a half degrees, and then if you want to cut a 65 degree angle on a chop saw, you have to use a 45 degree angle to make this, and it's a bit beyond me. I know that maths comes into everything, as my maths teacher used to say, but um, seriously. I'm just sawing the right angle on one of these um, posts to secure it all together is my current job. It's gonna get noisy. Day two of the build and we're, the absolute headache is just getting these bits in between the roof struts um, so everyone is at a different angle everyone has a different length um, so that's where we're struggling a bit at the minute and I've just been in the studio to see what the kids are doing and um, they've literally taken every off cut of timber and made a road is that what you're doing Annabelle making a road yeah. of course Hours of entertainment. Oh, mind your hands. <laughs> Is it done yet, William? No, I had to chop it out. We could be here a while. Bye, Tom. See you later. While Tom was back at home, he chopped down some trees and milled us all our cladding boards for the sides of the hut with the help of his colleague. We carried on finishing off the roof battens, ready for the roof to go on. In our next episode, Tom's back, so we're hoping to carry on with the build. And we'll also be starting our outdoor kitchen and hopefully getting stuck in with some tree planting. Like and subscribe!